Am I audible? Tick, tick. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, before we start our webinar series today, I would like to inform you that webinar series will begin in a moment. So please prepare yourself to listen to the materials. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Person, our lecturer, Mrs. Arini Nurulidayati MPD, the Honorable all my beloved presenters and participants. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let us thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his blessing we are able to come here joining this webinar series. Salawat and salam always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who has guided us from the darkness into the brightness. I'd like to thank everyone who is joining us from the course major of Siliwang University and across the university. And please welcome to today's webinar series at Sa Unsil 2021 with the theme, Seeing Grammar and Pronunciation in the Same Place, Mission Impossible. My name is Sandra Amelia. I come from English Education Department, Siliwang University, and I'll be your moderator for today's session. I'm so grateful to be lead in this webinar series at Sao Unseal 2021, had by English Department Student Association, English Education Department, Siliwang University. And here, related to the theme uh, about grammar, in learning foreign language, especially English, grammar is often become a problem for many people in using the language. Uh, in fact, with the existence of grammar, sometimes people are not confident in speaking or writing. So many people also don't like grammar. In fact, grammar is not our enemy. In fact, uh, reading a lot or practicing speaking a lot can be a way uh, to improve our grammar. And grammar itself can provide benefits to our reading and speaking skills. Well, for more detail, we will discuss it with our presenters today. For the presenters today are students of English Education Department, Siliwang University. They are Amira Nurjana, Adenur Habiba, Raminur Afifa and Rahayani. And here are the rules for this webinar. The first, the only language used to communicate is English. The second one, all participants are suggested to take notes during the presentation. The third one, participants must tune up the audio during the presentation. The fourth, the presentation will be heard in five minutes for each presenter. And the moderator will set the time to remind the presenter. Then the Q&A session or question and answer session will come after the full presentation. Question can be typed in the chat box since the early presentation. And anyone interested in talking directly to the presenters is pleased to raise your hand. And we will facilitate you if we still have time. And last one, if you could not get uh, your answer in the question and answer session, the presenters will send the answer via email. All right, now we are going to the presentation session. Well, to begin the presentation, I call upon Amira Nurjana to present her topic with the title, Grammar is not your enemy. Amira, time is yours. All right, thank you very much, moderator, for the opportunity. And let me share my screen first. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amira Nurjana from Siliwang University, and now I am as your first first speaker in the in this webinar. For today's topic, I'm going to deliver about grammar is not your enemy. For many students, especially non-native English students, learning grammar is a challenging task because English grammar has some really strict rules so that they hate to learn grammar and they feel that grammar is really their enemy. Meanwhile, Galway in 2017, meanwhile, Galway in 2017, I'm sorry, 
Meanwhile, Galloway in 2017 argued that grammar is your friend or at least want to be your friend. But it can be an awkward friend. So how to make friend with grammar? Obviously, we have to understand what is the most appropriate concept to learn grammar. However, before I show you what is the most appropriate concept to learn grammar, Tohir in 2011 mentioned several difficulties that are commonly faced when learning grammar. The first, the student's lack of knowing the written forms of a word and how to pronounce it. Second, the student's master of vocabulary not very well, which vocabulary is the key in learning a language. And the third one, the student is too passive. They are anxiety and ashamed to practice and afraid to making a mistake. And the fourth, the student has very minimum knowledge of sentence forms. And next, from Indonesian students, they often translate Indonesian into English form. And the last one, they are not accustomed to hearing native speaker directly. And now, this is the most appropriate concept of learning grammar that are shown by Lampariello in 2019. The first one, learn grammar from language, not learn language from grammar. We know that a five years old kid in the United States or in the United Kingdom, they are able to speak English grammatically correct. Why? Because they learn grammar from the language. They absorb the patterns. They do not learn grammar from a grammar books or they learn grammar of the grammar rules. They absorb the pattern where they communicate with their mother, with their father, and then they imitate. When they speak, they are able to speak English grammatically correct. Second, always learn through comprehensible and compelling content. Nowadays, there are various ways to learn grammar. You can use your smartphone. You can watch a video from a YouTube or you download an, some application from a Play Store and maybe you use your social media and etc. And next, learn from grammar notes. Grammar notes is a key feature of compelling content and grammar notes is very useful in explaining the obscure points, but you do not need to, fo to focus too much on your grammar notes. You just need to understand the outline maybe, and you already understand about your grammar notes. And this is the example of grammar notes that I took from Google. Next, extra patterns. We know that our brain is a machine to figuring out a pattern from language of F or everything. And we can take extractive pattern by, we can take pat, extractive pattern by comparing the text, an English text to our native language. For example, here, I am eating if I compare with our native language in Bahasa, it becomes saya sedang makan. And if I compare, the position of I is same with saya, and the position of M is same with sedang, and the position of eating is same with makan. And from this compar comparison, we can modify and change the element, and we form a new patterns. Maybe we change the subject to be she, or we change the predicate to be run and etc. And the last one is embed emotion. Embed the emotion is refined and strengthen our extrapolation of pattern. For example, when we say I am eating, we are really eating at that time. Or when we Say I am running, I I am really running in the field at the time, and etc. That's all from my presentation. This is my reference.
This is my references that I use for my presentation. Thank you very much for your nice attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I give it back to the moderator. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Well, that's great for opening presentation. Thank you very much, Amira. Well, anyone who previously thought that grammar is our enemy, maybe from now on, let's get rid of that stigma. And Amira has shared you the concept of learning grammar itself. And for the second presenter, I would like to invite Rahmi Nur Afifah to present her topic. It's about improving grammar to writing. Rahmi, five minutes from begin from now, please. Time is yours. All right. Uh, thank you for the moderator for giving me the opportunity. Okay, let me uh, share my screen first. All right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Rahmir Afifah from Sri Bani University. Uh, in here, I will deliver the material about improving grammar skills through writing. Before we, uh, before I deliver the main uh, material, the main topic, I will tell you that what I will tell in this presentation. First, I will, uh, uh, I will deliver the introduction first. And then the second, the importance of grammar skills. And then the third is about the main topic. It is improving grammar skills through writing. First, intro, uh, it is about introduction, about what is grammar. I think uh, you already knew what is grammar and then you already learned since you in senior high school or maybe in junior high school. So do you know what is the definition of grammar? And this is the definition of grammar. First, grammar is fundamental to language learning. Digani et al. 2015. And then grammar is basic foundation. So it is, uh, it is related between the first definition and the second definition is related and uh, this definition also supported by Shen 2012 that state every language has its own grammar. People who speak the same language are able to communicate just because they intuitively know its grammar system. It is self-evident that grammar plays a very important role in language learning, including English teaching. teaching. So when we speak, uh, in English language or maybe in Indonesian language, it is we speak uh, with grammar, but it is unconsciously we speak with grammar. So uh, grammar is uh, has very important role in in language, especially in English language. And then next is about the importance of grammar skills. The first one is avoid incorrect structure. Uh, this statement also supported by Dewi 2017 that state uh, with English grammar competency, learners can avoid using incorrect structure. Uh, uh, for the example, when you, uh, when you uh, before learn about grammar, you will say uh, the sentence uh, for the example, I am do my task. It is incorrect. So, when you already know and already learned about grammar, so you know uh, the correct structure, it is, I do my task. So, and then the second is to master communicative skills. Uh, to master communicative skills. Uh, it is supported by Dewi also 2017. Learning grammar is also essential to master communicative skills in English. So uh, as I told uh, before this, uh, uh, grammar is basic foundation. So uh, especially for another skill such as uh, for writing, for speaking and etc. And then the next, it is the main, uh, the main topic. 
about improving grammar skills through writing. First, you can using you can use dictogloss. According to one year, the uh, seven, 1770, dictogloss is a task-based activity that encourages students to work together actively in small groups to reconstruct new versions of a narrative text. This technique is believed to improve their grammatical competence and to develop more precise understanding of how to use English grammar. And then this is the dictogloss stage. First uh, is preparation or introduction of the text. Uh, for the example, uh, you will teach to your students about uh, past tense, and then you should prepare the media such as audio or video uh, that provide many, senten many sentences, uh, including on that media in past tense forms. And then the second is dictation by asking the learners to listen without writing anything. So in this stage, you should uh, play the media such as uh, audio or video, and then your students should uh, listen it. And then the third, reconstruct the dictated text. In this stage, uh, you should ask to your students to write what they already uh, already already learned already listened uh, in the media before and then the fourth the fourth the last stage is about analysis and correction in this stage you should compare the correct answer answer and then the student's answer and then the second way for improving grammar You can giving some exercises in written form. This is also supported by Shen 2012 that states to help students acquire grammar knowledge and improve their grammar competency gradually and imperceptibly. We can help them engage in various activities. For example, we can ask students to write, to write and try to improve their libraries, journals, or even stories under the guidance of the teacher. Using paper and pen, students can create their own resources for practicing grammar. In the, so you can ask the students to write their experiences, uh, and then and then you can uh, correct them. Uh, uh, is the sentence that the students use is correct or not? And then you can ask the, to your student to fill the blank, may, maybe, and etc. And then the last part is about my references that I used for, for this presentation. I think that's all for me. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for your great presentation. That was the presentation by Rahmin and Afifah. And from her topic, we know the importance of grammar and how to improve grammar through writing. That's very informative presentation, right? And next, for the third presenter, let us call up one, Adenit Habiba, with the title, Benefits of Grammar for Your Speaking and Writing Skill. Ade, the floor is yours. All right, thank you, moderator. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Adenur Habiba. In this occasion, I'd like to present an idea about the benefits of grammar for your speaking and writing skills. In this presentation, I will divide into three parts. The first is the definition of grammar. The second is the importance of grammar. And the last is our main topic is the benefits of grammar for your speaking and writing skills. Well, I will begin this presentation by explaining what grammar really is. Grammar is the rules of a language. Every language has its own grammar. It is crucial because it is needed to help in understanding the language. 
grammar makes possible the production and comprehension of a potentially unlimited number of utterance because no language can exist without grammar and no one can use a language fluency without knowledge of it. And Tonbury 1999 believe that grammar is a description of the rules for forming sentences, including an account of the meanings that these forms convey. Gerard and Wigner also state that grammar is a theory of the language which shows the process of language happened. It can be concluded that grammar is related to the form of language, it, uh, to the form of words and sentences. It also shows the language can create the structural meaning. And next to the second part, is grammar important? Yes, is it? And why? Why is grammar important? Krista 2004 argue that grammar is the structural foundation of our ability to express ourselves. The more we aware of how it works, the more we can monitor the meaning and effectiveness of the way we and others use language. It can help foster precision, detect ambiguity, and exploit the richness of expression available in English. Grammar is an important part of learning English. When learners cannot understand well about grammar, learners, learners will be confused to arrange sentences in English. And grammar skill will help students to organize uh, words and messages. It will make them meaningful. And using inappropriate grammar will not convey a meaningful message. Therefore, grammar, grammar I'm so sorry, grammar, plays a very important role as a bridge between speaker and listener in people's communication, both in speaking or writing. All right, let's move to our main topic, the benefits of grammar for your speaking skills. Knowing grammar makes us too easier in communicating. In communication, grammar has a significant role as we know that communication is two-way where each other must understand what is conveyed. To avoid misunderstanding, the words spoken or written should not cause confusion. It is where grammar serves to give a clear meaning to the words. Thus, grammar is influential in making each other understand in communication. For example, if we have a job interview, we need to talk about our previous work experience, and then we apply the rules for present for fit tense because we are talking about experience. And then, uh, Meanwhile, grammar rules make our communication appear coherent and more logical. Actually, we can talk without having to think about grammar, but even when talking, it contains grammar elements. So grammar mistake when speaking will affect the meaning. And using proper grammar when speaking is better. And then when we master grammar, we can deal with formal and informal situation. And then next, to the our main topic still in main topic benefits of grammar for your writing skills march 2013 said that grammar is essential aspect to communicate effectively moreover grammar simpl simply is creating well organized reading and writing performance it is important to know basic grammar to analyze and improve the performance of your language, especially when you are writing. The understanding the use of verbs, adverbs, adjective, uh, nouns, and then phrases or clauses helps you writing is writing that of forms and proper grammar. And the use of proper grammar will make it easier to read, uh, for readers to understand what they are reading. In sum, uh, writing and speaking grammatically correct can build personal credibility. So by mastering grammar, we can take advantage of it to improve our skill, especially uh, speaking and writing. That's all from me. Thank you for your nice attention. And this is my references. I'm so sorry if there are so many mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will give it back to the moderator. Thank you.
All right, that was presentation by Adenur Habiba. It's a very interesting topic. It turns out that Prima not only has benefits for writing skill, but also has benefits for speaking skill. Thank you very much for your informative presentation, Ade. And before continue to the next presenter, I would like to remind you to fill the present, present link. I would like to remind you to pre to fill the present link and you can find it on the chat box. Well, after we get to know the grammar and its benefits, now we are going to the next one. It's about pronunciation. Yes, for the last presenter, I would like to invite Rohayani to present her topic. It's about why pronunciation matters. Rohayani, five minutes begin from now, please. Time is yours. Thank you for the moderator for giving me the opportunity to deliver this presentation. I would like to open this presentation by, by stating what is pronunciation. It states that pronunciation is the production of sound that it used for making meaning. And by this, pronunciation refers to how we say things in a language so that speaker intended message is easily understood by a hearer. And usually it, it, it is said that it is said that native speaker of a language do not notice good pronunciation, but will definitely notice incorrect pronunciation. And then pronunciation has a key role in successful communication, both productively and Receptively has been a common concern among learners regard to their confidence in oral communication. Pronunciation contributes to the perceived competence of a speaker and some of English native speaker and advanced learner will think a second language English speaker has poor competency and fluency in English if his or her utterance are peppered with pronunciation error, even if you have good grammar and then my main the main point of this presentation is pronunciation is important for the following reason number one bad pronunciation creates um, a negative impression by this uh, when you are having a conversation with others in english your pronunciation is one of the first thing they will pick up on and then people will notice if your pronunciation is correct as you start speaking the simplest of word and bad pronunciation creates a bad first impression and it can also play with your confidence which makes it even more difficult for you to communicate and while having a large amount of vocabulary is good everyday everyday talk required requires mastery of common expression and you can have large vocabulary, but if you pronounce the word incorrectly, then you will not communicate well. And on the other hand, if you have, if you have a small vocabulary, vocabulary, but pronounce the words well, then you will be a better communicator. And then the next is misunderstanding can occur when proper pronunciation is in use. So communication in relationship, for example, with friends or coworker is important. And when pronunciation is poor, you may come out as rude even if you not mean even if you do not mean to be. And this can put a strain on relationship. And the easiest way to correct this problem is to learn how to pronounce words in English, perhaps with a native net, native speaker. And the last is avoid being avoided. Um, when you do not pronounce words well, people will have, will have to ask you to repeat over and over again. And this will often cause irritation and people will start avoiding having to communicate with you because it takes too much effort. And this is one of the reasons that people get um, accent training and listen to a native speaker yeah, podcast, for example, and then you can avoid being a source 
of irritation by not just studying grammar or but also studying proper pronunciation as well. And that concludes the whole presentation. This is the refer references that I use. Uh, thank you for your attention. And I, I give it back to the moderator. All right. Thank you very much for your informative and beneficial presentation, Rahayani. It's such a good closing presentation for today's webinar series. And here uh, we have arrived at the presentation session. And I would like to thank to all presenters who have delivered the insights about grammar and pronunciation. And now we are going to the question and answer session. Well, here, if you have a question, you can type it on the chat box directly to whom your question is and what is your question itself. Or if you are interested in talking directly to the presenters, please to raise your hand. I mean, use raise hand feature until I allow you to turn on the audio to convey the question. Well, is there any question? We have time. Uh, the time for question and answer session till 3 p.m. So if you have question, please, you can type in on the chat box or you can raise your hand. Is there any question? Let me see on the chat box. Yeah, we have not get the question. Please don't be shy if you want to ask something about grammar or pronunciation. Please feel free to deliver the question. Yeah, you can uh, ask the question. It can be uh, related to Amira's topic. It's about grammar is not your enemy. Or it can be to Rahmi's topic about improving grammar to writing. And also, Ades' topic about benefits of grammar for your speaking and writing skills. And last one, uh, you can also ask uh, relates to Rohayani's topic. It's about why pronunciation matters. Is there any question? Well, here we have the question. Yeah, uh, the question is on the chat box. Uh, please, for the presenters, you can listen to the question or read on the chat box. The question is from Sifa. Hello, presenters. What a nice presentation. And the question is, are there any tips to enjoy learning grammar? Well, here, uh, Sifa asked the tips to enjoy learning grammar. To the presenters, please answer the question. We'll answer. Rahmi or maybe Amira, that's really to uh, the uh, grammar. Please, presenters. Um, let me try to answer the question from Shifa. Um, yes, please. This is uh, based on my experience. 
Uh, so, uh, tips to enjoy learning grammar is um, using games, maybe, because now is uh, the development of, uh, of technology. We can install an application that provide uh, many, many materials about grammar because I ever install it and uh, learn about grammar from that application. So, uh, tips from me is uh, using um, using games, maybe. That's all. All right. Uh, is there any additional answer from other presenters? From Rahmi say that uh, e to enjoy learning grammar, we can maximize the technology Especially, we use it for games, activity, to make the students enjoy, or we as the learners enjoy the learning process, right? Well, from the other presenters, is there any additional answer? Or from Sifa, uh, are you satisfying with the answer? Okay, I think Sifa is enough with the answer from the presenters. And because we still have time to for question and answer session, is there other question? Please. Well, here there, there is a question from Andriani, Andriani Suchi Rahmani, Suchi Rahmani. Please, for the presenters, you can listen to the question or read on the chat box. The question is, so we maintain our pronunciation to be native like or maintain our own style? Yeah, maybe it relates to Rohayani's topic about pronunciation the presenters to answer the question. Thank you, Andriani, for the question. So shall, shall we maintain our pronunciation to be native, like our maintain our style? Uh, maybe it's about style is about accent, like right? So your own style is your own accent, uh, but pronunciation is about uh, how we say the, it has the rules and 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 that's for me. All right, thank you, Rahayani. And is there any additional answers for Andriani's question? Maybe from Amira or Rahmi or Ade to add. Answer. Anyone will add the answer? Uh, Andriani, are you satisfying with the Rohayani's answer or any additional question? Oh, uh, yeah. Sipa here was asked to present the present link. Well, I think he has sent it. Well, one more. Is there any question or additional question relates to our topic today? Oh, 
or maybe the presentation have clear enough and understandable. So, so the audience have already understand about the topic today because yeah, it's also so now I close the question and answer session and we are going to the to deliver well uh, from today's topic let's conclude our topic today i uh, mean our webinar today and from this webinar i get so many insights from the presenters and from this webinar we can conclude that uh, we can change our mindset that grammar is not the main enemy of learning foreign language or in this case is english and as Amira said before, Galway 2017 said that grammar is your friend, or at least wants to be. And we can learn and improve grammar through writing, such as using dictaglos and do many exercises. And also, good grammar itself may give positive things, not just to writing skill, but also to speaking skill. And yeah, finally, we come to the last session of this webinar series. Thank you to the presenters who were delivered the presentation. And also thank you very much to all audiences for your participation in this webinar. Hopefully the discussion that we have shared today would be useful for all of us. Thank you for attention. I'm Sandra Amelia. Oh yeah, we can take a picture, maybe before you go out. Please, I wanna take a picture. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, for the audience, she may like to. Do.